Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ayub, and today I will be the presenter for our group's presentation on the topic algae. Our group consists of three people: Muhammad Habib Shahmi bin Muhammad Shafi, Abdullah Al Mubarak bin Shafi, and me myself, Abu Ayub bin Igafar. Through these beautifully made PowerPoint slides, I aim to enlighten your minds about the vast world of algae. Before we go into the details, let me introduce you to algae. What are algae? Algae exist in environments ranging from oceans, rivers, and lakes to ponds, brackish waters, and even snow. Algae are usually green, but they can be found in a variety of different colors. For example, red algae, or also known as rhodophyta. They are photosynthetic and eukaryotic. For instance, algae living in snow contain carotenoid pigments in addition to chlorophyll, hence giving the surrounding snow a distinctive red hue. Algae do not have true roots, stems, nor leaves. Examples of algae reproduction are asexual cell division, asexual spores, sexual reproduction, and combination sex. The green algae is a microscopic breaststroke swimmer. The movements of its two flagella are synchronized by mechanical forces. Its swimming strokes slow down or accelerate depending on how the cell rocks while swimming. Next is the classification for algae. For the classification, we have made a taxonomy chart beginning with the domain for algae all the way to its order. All organisms are divided into two domains, which are prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Algae is under the domain eukaryotes. Eukaryotes are then divided into two, which are unicellular and multicellular. Algae is under unicellular. And under unicellular is the kingdom protista. And kingdom protista is divided into two, which are algae and protozoa. Algae have six phylums. Chlorophyta, Pheophyta, Pyrophyta, Chrysophyta, Rhodophyta, and euglenophyta. For the phylum chlorophyta, which is also known as green algae, it is divided into three classes Chlorophyceae, Chlorophyceae, and Micromonadophyceae. For the phylum pheophyta, or also known as brown algae, it has one class, which is Pheophyceae. And that class is divided into five orders. The orders are ectocarpales, cordarials, dictyosiphonales, cytosiphonales, and dictyotales. For the phylum pyrophyta, or also known as dinoflagellates, it has one. It has two classes actually, which are uh, dinoflagellate and adenoflagellate. Under Dinophyceae is the order Peridineals, and under Adenophyceae is the order Prorocentrales. For the phylum Chrysophyta, also known as Diatoms, it has one class, which is Cryptophyceae, and under that class is the order Cryptomonodales. For Rhodophyta, which is also known as red algae. It is divided into two classes, Bangiophyceae and Floridiophyceae. Under Bangiophyceae is two orders, Joniotricales and Bangiales. For the class Floridiophyceae, it has three orders, which are Ceramiales, Gigartineales, and nemaliales. 
And the last phylum is Euglenophyta, also known as Euglenoids. It has one class, which is Euglenophyceae, and under that class is the order Euglenales. There are many things that we can apply with algae. Here are some examples for the general applications for algae. Algae is useful in pharmaceuticals. Algae can also be found in some cosmetics. It can also be used in food supplements. And algae is also useful in nutraceuticals. One of the applications for algae is to use it as algae-based biofertilizer. And in this slide, I will explain in detail how to make algae-based biofertilizer. First, we collect the algae, then we rinse the algae with fresh water to clean off any debris, and then we fill a plastic bucket with that cleaned algae, and then we fill the plastic bucket containing that clean algae with fresh water. And then we place the lid on the plastic bucket containing algae and water. We let the contents in the plastic bucket anaerobically ferment without aerating or mixing for four weeks or longer. Once the anaerobic fermentation process is complete, we separate the remaining algae from the nutrient-rich water, store the nutrient-rich water in an airtight jar, and then the leftover or remaining algae can be used in steps 4 to 7. Last but not least, to use the biofertilizer, we dilute 1 tablespoon of nutrient-rich water with 1 gallon of water and apply it to soil generously or spray on plants generously. And we apply as much as needed. The benefits of using algae-based biofertilizer is that it is better than chemical fertilizer because algae is natural. Another application for algae is to use it as algae-based biodiesel. And in this slide, I will explain how to make algae-based biodiesel. First and foremost, we have to produce and grow the algae. All the required nutrients are provided along with CO2 and sunlight in the production and growth of algae. After that is complete, the algae will go through selection and harvesting. Only the better biofuel contents of algae are selected and harvested through proper harvesting equipment. After the algae are done selected and harvested, the algae will go through filtration. Here is an image of what algae filtration looks like in creating algae-based biodiesel. After the algae is filtered, the algae will go through drying. The drying is done either through sunlight or using biogas or other thermal processes. This is what dry algae looks like. After the algae is dry, the algae will go through oil extraction. The oil is extracted through cell disruption, either chemically or mechanically. And after oil extraction, the lipid and fatty acid contents are separated and thus becomes the product, which is algae-based biodiesel. Here is the Islamic reference that supports our research on algae. In the Quran, in Surah Al-Araf, Ayah 160, it is stated, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, which means, eat from the good things we have provided for you. The meaning behind this ayah is that Allah has provided us with so many good things 
such as algae and we have to eat or use it in a way that benefits us so we must apply algae in a way that benefits us as for the references here are the references that we use to make our presentation a success as you can see there are a variety of references that we have used and all of these were very useful in obtaining information on algae that is all from me assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh